welcome back to my channel um thanks for your support everyone thanks for always coming back to watch my videos i hope my tutorial are very helpful to you guys thanks a lot and today's tutorial is a quick tutorial hopefully i'm going to be showing you a simple blouse it's called ebo blouse it's, it's a blouse you wear with wrapper or a skirt so i'm going to be showing you how to cut it and hopefully how to sew it as well thanks guys stay tuned and i'll show you how to cut it and hopefully how to sew it okay oh before we start i'll quickly show you the fabric we'll be using we'll be using this lovely uh, net lace it got just this one design which i'm going to be cutting and putting in the front of the blouse because you only have only one and it's not a lot of fabric we're going to be using our satin as the lining the front lining and we're going to be using our poly cutting to back the satin also we need our scissors our chalk and of course we need rulers and our measurement for this tutorial so what you need the measurement you need for this tutorial are the bust measurement shoulder measurement shoulder to waist measurement shoulder to bust point measurement shoulder to um under bust measurement and then of course the length of the blouse the length of the sleeve and um that's all we need for this um that's all the measurement needed for the blouse so i'm going to be showing you how to cut it stay tuned and i'll show you how i cut it okay uh we are going to start first we are going to start by marking a guideline down i normally mark one inches guideline from here and just take your measurement tape and just mark one inches guideline and then you take your ruler and rule it across just a one inches guideline okay so after we do that so one inches guideline from the top then we are going to take the length of the blouse so the length of the blouse is 25 so length of the blouse 25 I'm working with the lining, the poly cutting lining, that this is the one that's going to be inside the satin. So I'm going to be adding one inches for seam allowance. But when I'm cutting the satin and the net, I'm going to be adding one and a half inches. Reason is because this is the facing that is going to turn the whole outfit out. So this one needs to be a bit shorter than the other two fabric so i'm cutting this one 26 so i'm only adding one inches to this one in the other one i will had half an inches extra to it so that is 26 so you just take a ruler you can mark all the way from the top first before you use the ruler you just mark across 26 so I take the ruler and I roll it. Okay, so now I'm going to be marking down the shoulder measurement. So the shoulder measurement is 16 divided by 2. That is 8. So I mark down 8 here. And then I'm going to be measuring the armhole length, which is your shoulder to your armhole point, which is some um, eight. So I just take a ruler and draw a straight line to meet the shoulder, a half shoulder measurement. So from this eight, I just draw a straight line across. This is very much like a basic pattern block. It's very much like when you want to cut a basic pattern block. I'm going to do a tutorial on how to cut a basic pattern block later. 
so i just mark it across so now i'm just going to put all the other measurement done so i'm going to put shoulder to waist measurement shoulder to under bust measurement so shoulder to under bust measurement shoulder to waist measurement put your shoulder to waist measurement and shoulder to bust point so i put um shoulder to bust point measurement so this is where the bust starts so shoulder to bust point measurement so i draw a straight line across so for all those measurements so what i'm going to do next now is i'm going to divide the bust divided by four the bust measurement divided by four divided by four is ten because i'm only going to put a dot i'm not doing the princess um that so just no more no more waste that so it's 10 plus two inches sewing allowance plus two inches sewing allowance then you're going to take the under bust measurement which is the round under bust measurement divided by four so you divide the round under bust measurement by four nine and then you mark it down plus two inches sewing allowance so you can add one and a half inches sewing allowance if you want so now i'm going to be taking the waist measurement divided by four so you divide the waist measurement by four you mark it down which is 10 plus 2 inches in this case instead of putting 2 inches I'm going to put 3 inches because we are putting a dot so I'm going to be putting 3 inches allowance 1 inches for that so from this point I just mark it down the rest is the hip you can use the person hip to get the end of the blouse you can use their hip to get the end of the blouse if you have the person's hip measurement. Please stay tuned. Okay, uh, so I'm just going to take the ruler and then just draw a straight line to the bottom. As I say, if you have the person's some um, hip measurement, you can put the hip measurement here if you have the hip measurement of the person but i think this is wide enough anyway for the blouse that's to enable the person to wear the blouse more comfortable so after that i'm going to be joining all the connections together so all the line i've, I've marked i'm just going to join them together first i draw them straight line I just connect them together and I use the ruler to connect them properly. So I use the ruler to draw a more proper, a more proper shape because I can't go this shape. This shape is too deep in. So, and you know the human body is not pointing. So I have to use the ruler to draw a more curvy line. So that's it. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to divide the ham hole length into two. The ham hole length is eight, just to get the middle of the ham hole, it's eight, so divided into two is four. But before then, I'm going to come down by one inches for the shoulder slope. So from this one inches, I'm not going to now mark the half of it. And the half of it is three, and a half so 3.5 that's 3.5 so that's for the ham hole 
So you take your ruler, you take your, your curve ruler from this three and a half point, you draw a curve shape. You can freehand it as well if you know how to freehand it. You can freehand it. Okay, so that's your armhole shape there. Hope you can see it. So that's your armhole shape. I'll bring the camera a bit closer so you can see. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to take the wideness of the neck. So I'm going to be using four for the wideness of the neck. I'm going to be using four. And then for the depth, because it's a blouse and I don't want it to be too low. So for the depth, I'm going to be using four as well first and see how it goes. So for the back one, for the back, I'm going to be using two inches, maybe one and a half inches drop for the back. I'm going to be using one and a half inches drop for the back. So I take my ruler and I just connect the lines together. I connect the line, the curve, to get a curve for the neck. So I'm going to be using, I'm going to be doing a round neck. So if this is too high, I'm going to come down by maybe one inches more. I'll come down by one inches more, so that will be five in total. So I'm just going to, to use my ruler. To connect it to the to the shoulder so you can freehand it as well and then I'm going to be connecting the shoulder slope to the neck okay just like that hope you can see that's the shoulder slope that's the ham hole that's the neckline over here the back one you always cut the back one out first before the front one. So at the bottom here, so the blouse have a shape and it's not pointing the way it's pointing at the moment. You can go up by, let me bring it closer so you can see what I'm doing. So it's not just pointing like that. What I do is I just come up by one and a half inches to make it rounder. I come up by one and a half inches. And then you can freehand it. You can freehand it if you are able to, just to meet. You freehand it just to meet this line here, the length. So from the side, this is the side. You go up by one and a half inches, and then from there you freehand it. Or if you want to use a ruler, you can use your curve ruler. You just put it like so. And then you use your curve ruler to still give you the same effect. So all I'm going to do, don't forget I put a zip allowance because you need a zip allowance. It's going to be having a zip at the back. So you need a zip allowance. So I'm just going to cut it out now. I cut the back one out first. Cut the back out. Okay, I've cut the back out now. So now I'm going to cut the neck, the front neck.
okay so that's it so i'm just going to open it up so you can see what i've cut okay i'm just going to cut the front a little bit more okay so so this is it really it's like it's kind of a um round neck not um i don't know how to say but it's a round neck anyway so this is this i'll take this and the back i will use it to cut the other fabric i used to cut the satin and i'll use to cut the the net fabric as well so i'm going to cut it and come and show you I've cut it out. Stay tuned. Okay, oh. Uh, so what I've done here is I've taken the polycutting one, I've put it on top of the net. So all I'm doing is I'm just using it as a pattern to cut the net fabric out. So that's all I'm doing as you can see. I'm just cutting it out. So this one is acting like a template or a pattern. So that's it. I cut it out. So I'll do the same with the back. I use the back polycutting as a pattern to cut the next one. So this is the front one I have cut already. So I'm going to be doing the back one as well. Okay, oh, so I have cut everything. I've cut the sleeve the sleeves out i've used the bead part to do the edge of the sleeve um this part when i finish sewing the blouse i'm going to trim this part and put it around the neck section this part of the fabric so this is it guys i've cut everything out now so all that is left is for me to take it to the sewing machine and so so i'm going to sew it hopefully i'll try and see if i can make a video if not i'm just going to finish sewing it and show you the afterwards how it looks like afterwards hello everyone so I'm going to show you how to sew the blouse that I caught them um, earlier on if you remember I'm going to show you how to sew it these are the sleeves so I'm just going to sew it now and I'm going to show you how I sew it it's a simple blouse so I'm going to be joining it together now. Okay everyone, so I'm going to start by joining the satin and the net together first. Um, this is the front section of the blouse. So I'm going to be joining the net and the satin together. I'm going to be doing that to the back as well. If you are a beginner, use a pin to hold it together so that it doesn't slip, it doesn't shake up and move, I meant to say, when you are sewing it. So you can use a pin to, to hold the net and the satin together. I'm not using the satin to turn it. I'm just going to be stitching it together at the neck and at the side, just to hold the two of them together. So that's what I'm going to be doing to the front and back section. So I'm going to sew it. And then I'll show you once I finish. It's a round neck.
Okay, so I've stitched the, the satin and the net together. Just holding them together and then at the neck. And then I'm going to do it the same thing at the side as well. I'm just holding them together. Okay. So I'm going to be doing the same to the back. I'm going to be doing the same to the back and then when I finish I'll come and show you how it looks like before I join them before I turn them with the poly cutting and sew the sleeve okay uh, so this is what I have done to the back as you can see all I did was to stitch the satin to the back of the net so I stitch them together I hold them together at the neck and the zip section and the side and also I've done the same to the front as well I've stitched it on the neck and then I've also stitched it at the side so what I'm going to do now I'm going to take the poly cutting and I'm going to stitch it from the neck and the bottom to turn it out so i'll take the poly cutting i'll start from the neck i'll stitch it from the next section and then also the bottom and then i'll turn it out i'll show you how i do it okay uh so this is what i have done to the back as you can see all i did was to stitch the satin to the back of the net so I stitch them together I hold them together at the neck and the zip section and the side and also I've done the same to the front as well I've stitched it on the neck and then I've also stitched it at the side so what I'm going to do now I'm going to take the poly cutting and I'm going to stitch it from the neck and the bottom to turn it out. So I'll take the poly cutting, I'll start from the neck, I'll stitch it from the neck section, and then also the bottom, and then I'll turn it out. I'll show you how I do it. Okay, so I'm back to the sewing machine. Right side facing up, take your poly cutting, which is this the lining we are going to put the right side of the lining to the right side of the fabric and we are going to stitch them together at the neck first stitch them together at the neck first
You do the same for the other bag. And then you do the same to the front one as well. Right side together. Or if you like, you can do the wrong side, touching the right side of the fabric. It doesn't really matter too much because the lining. You are going to turn it to the east side. Nobody's going to be seeing it. So I'm stitching all the poly cutting lining to the fabric and the satin. I've already stitched the satin to the fabric. If you miss that part, you can go back to the beginning, you'll see it of the video. So this is the front I'm doing now. So after you finish doing that, you are going to notch them. When you notch it, then you understitch it. So I'm going to notch it. You notch it like this. You just take your scissors and clip it. You clip it, see? So you notch it like that. That's to help the neck to relax. You do that all around and to the back as well. Nush it. Okay, so now next thing is you are going to understitch. You're going to understage. To understage, this is the wrong side of the fabric. To understage, make sure the allowance, the seam allowance here is on top of the lining. The seam allowance is on top of the lining. And then you just sew very close to the, to the seam you've already made before. You do the same for all of them for the three piece. Understitch it. The understitch it really helps it to lie flat really nicely. It helps the necks to really relax properly, and it keeps the lining inside. Stop the lining from wanting to show on the front. On the station in the front one as well. Thank you. 
Okay, so I've understitched the three piece. So what I'm going to do now, let me just separate them. So what I will do now is I'm not going to stitch the bottom. Make sure the lining is stay on the right side, touching the right side of the fabric. This is the lining. Make sure it's still touching the right side of the fabric. So I'm not going to stitch the bottom because I'm going to use the bottom to turn it. I'm going to use the lining I meant to say to turn it out. So I'm going to stitch. What I normally do for the bottom so that the fabric doesn't show when you turn it, I normally shorten the lining at the bottom. I normally shorten it by half an inches. So when it's turned, it doesn't show at the front. So I'm just putting it together. This is the bottom of the blouse. So I'm holding it together like this and then I'm going to sew it. Okay, so I have stitched it now. You can also understitch it if you want. I'm going to understitch it as well. So you can understitch it if you want. Just do like what I showed you before. Okay, so I've understitched it. So now I turn it out. I'll show you how it looks like. But before I show you how it looks like, let me do the back as well, and then I'll show you how both of them look like. Okay, uh, so this is what I have done to the back. You can see that I have torn it. This is the right side of the fabric. This is the back of the fabric. So I've torn it on the stitch sheet at the back, at the bottom. So what I did is I torn it out. You see, this is the wrong side of the fabric here. So I torn it out. So when you turn it out, it looks like this. I've on the stitch sheet. So when you iron it, it comes straight nicely like this. So I've ironed it. So you can see that the lining is not showing through because I shortened the lining by half an inches. So when I turn it out, the lining won't show through. So the lining is inside. So this is the back, one of the back piece. This is the right side of it. And the same thing, the neck. 
you can see the neck is very smooth this is the wrong side of the neck the back I've torn it out I swear just like the bottom I torn it out so this is the right side so this is the one piece of the back this is the front so I've done the same to the front section I swear as you can see so this is the neck at the front I've used the poly cutting lining to turn it out so it's looking nice I've ironed it as well and this is the bottom section so you can see that the lining is easy is inside and this is how I turn it out I just open it and I turn it out so this is it I've ironed the middle, so I'm going to put that on this side now. I'm going to put waist to that on the front and on the back piece. And I'm going to join them together, put a zipper, and I'll come and show you how it looks like. Okay, everyone, so what I have done, what I've done is I've stitched the zip already on the blouse. This is the two section, this is the zip. I've sewn the zip to the back of the blouse and I've put the dart as well. This is the front. I've put the dart already. So what I'm going to do next now is to join them together. Just to join them together and then I'm going to be sewing the trimming in the front here. I'll show you the trimming. This is the this is the trimming everyone. So I'm going to pin the trimming to the front and then I'm going to use the machine to go around the trimming just to stitch it to the front. So what I'm doing at the moment I'm pinning it to the front of the blouse. So I can easily use the same color of thread to go around it. Because the machine can't really sew it, it's got it's stones, it's stones and beads. So I'm going to be sewing around the net. I'm going to be using the machine with the open toe foot to sew around the net before I trim the SS net away. That's the easiest way to do it. So you just attach the trimming to the front of the blouse. When you finish sewing around it, then you trim the excess net away. That's how I do it. Other people might do it differently, but this is the way I find it easy when I'm working with something similar like this. Every pattern, every design, I sew it differently. Some design, I have to cut them out and replace, position them. So I'm just pinning it now what I'm doing now pinning it to hold the design in place and when I finish pinning it I'll take it to the sewing machine and then I'll sew it and then I'll come back and show you the finished outfit how it looks so I'll take a picture of it and show it to you okay so this is how it's looking at the moment lovely design so I'll sew it Finish sewing it like this, attach it to the back, put a sleeve on, and then I'll show you the finished outfit. Okay, uh, this is the finished outfit. Um, all I need to do now is just to iron it, and it's done. So this is how it looks like. So it says a simple blouse to tie with wrapper or with skirt. So this is the end of the that fit. I just need to iron it very well. I haven't ironed it yet. That's why it's a bit rumpled. So I need to press it, iron it nicely. All right, guys. This is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumb up. Um, like and share. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Um, press the notification bell. It's at the bottom. Subscription is free, so just press subscribe. So you get notified 
um press the notification bell so you get notified when i put a new video thanks guys and i will see you in my next video bye